you know what? I don't have something stupid to say this time. Yeah. You get a fucking announcement this time. Look at this. So last time I checked, we had 133 subscribers, I think. Me and Leland decided that when we hit 200 subscribers, we going we gonna to eat this. Now, here's the thing. Um, my entire life, I have been known in my family as the nigga that can handle hot foods. And I am going to be put to the test. Fuck. So, tell your mama Nim to subscribe. So we can get to 200 fast and I can get this bullshit out the way, essentially. Hold up. Bang. I said, hey, yo. Y'all like the hoodie? Y'all like the hoodie? If y'all can tell me what rapper made this hoodie, I, uh, I gave you a kiss on your forehead. Welcome back to Jay and Low. I'm Low. Psych, thank God. I'm Jay. So, often, much like Spencer Shea said once on iCarly, I have my greatest ideas when I'm wet. And this idea was something I thought of when I was in the shower. Yeah, you finna get a butt naked video idea. I decided, hey, you know, it's still early into the school year. It's Halloween today when I'm filming this, but it'll be November something whenever you see this. People are a couple months in today, New Year, at school, and I decided, hey, who would I be to not give out my wisdom as far as everything I learned in high school? Everybody that went to high school with me just laughed. Yeah, um, I'm about to give y'all some tips. A guide, pretty much, of how to get through high school my way. Now, if we could refer to the list, the first thing you're going to need is a starter pack. Now, inside this starter pack, of course, you got pens, pencils, preferably mechanical. We don't do that wooden shit here, over here no more, right? Mechanical shit only. Uh, gum. Got to stay with your gum. Um, you want your breath to be hot, but at the same time... Don't chew too much gum, because if you got a later lunch period like I did, you're going to be hungry than a bitch. So, you know, chew your gum sparingly. And don't share the gum. Don't share your fucking gum. I don't care if it's your mom's. Don't you share that gum. Advil. You're going to need a whole, whole lot of Advil. Yeah, um, I would say, uh, you know those big packs of Advil? You know, the 500 joints? Uh, to make it through all the high school, go ahead get you about get you about ninety six of those. You gon' you gonna need a lot of Advil to deal with the stress and bullshit and these hard times in your life. Now that's just the starter pack. Make sure you you want to have those first day of school and beyond. You know you don't want to be unprepared. You know what I'm saying? You want to have your pens, your pencils, paper. Ah, you can. I mean, you can ask somebody for paper. You know. They're going to give you worksheets or whatever. You know, you don't need to bring paper, notebooks, like that bullshit. Oh, but most importantly in the starter pack, what you're going to need are friends. <laughs> yeah, right. We trying to survive. Fuck friends. Them niggas is overrated anyway. Now, the first step in the guide of Jaden's way of getting through high school. Don't do your homework. Now. Hear me out. Why exactly do we have homework if you teaching me everything I'm supposed to know at school? Look, I want to take this time to shout out Khan Academy, shout out Carnegie, because y'all taught me way more than ever could. I'm going to censor that out. I don't want to incriminate anybody, but if you went to my school, you know who I said, who I just said. If you're supposed to be the teacher, why do I have to go home and then teach myself further? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, oh, it's just practice. I got a life. I got shit going on. I don't need to practice some shit you should have fucking taught me. Practice? Listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about 
practice. We talking about practice, goddamn, and I'm one of the greatest. I don't need practice. Also, what you want to do? Set your expectations low. Low, low. Like, okay, your teachers want you to be here. Your parents want you to be here. Uh, motherfucker, you need to be down there with your expectations. Look, here's the thing. I set my expectations low ever since freshman year. And you want to know what happened by senior year? Nobody gave a fuck about my grades. All the way down to the counselor. They all knew I was just going to get pie by the skin of my teeth and the hair on my nuts. I mean, damn. The counselor would call my mom and tell her, Hey, it's me. Jaden failing again. And they called so many times, my mom was just like, Just stop calling me, please. So, if you set your expectations low, nobody's going to really expect you to do much. Number three. No. Number four in the guy. If you can't come up with good comebacks when somebody fucking with you, fight. I know violence is not the answer. Bullshit, yes it is. Now, here are some of my tips and tricks to win every single one of your fights. First of all, bob and weave. When motherfuckers start fighting you, they don't expect you to actually start moving your head and body. So just do it. Try to dodge some of their punches. Block them. Do everything you can. Step number two. This is a street fight. You ain't getting paid for this. Fuck are we fighting by rules for? Who who set up the who set up the rules for a random fight that we having because you stole my milk, cuz? That milk was chocolate. I was waiting for it. So so as far as rules, there are none. There is no gentlemanly conduct. In a fist fight. Look, go for their eyes, kick them in their kneecaps, kick them in the back of their kneecaps, and then they go crumbling down, right? Chop them in a Adam's apple. Shit, you can't fight me if you can't breathe. What you wanna do if you can? Get you, curve your index finger, get a good hook in their nose, and just pull. Just fucking pull. Because wherever, if nobody ever told you this, wherever your head go, your body go. Try it. Try to move your head without moving your whole fucking body. If you grab that nose, you get a good motherfucking nice grip in that nose. You just just start waving that motherfucker like a towel. If you strong enough, body slam the motherfucker. I mean, really. If somebody punching you and trying to push you off, if you big like me, man, just fucking hug them, slam them, belly to belly they shit. And if all else fails... This is the last thing you want to do because you can really fuck somebody up with this. But put that motherfucker in the sleeper hole. Whether you want to co- you want to cobra clutch it, you want to um you want to Dolph Ziggler that shit, or um motherfucking Samoa Joe that coquina clutch, choke the motherfucker. I mean, look now when people when you start choking them and people pull you off, actually get off of them. You don't want to just keep choking the motherfucker and then you kill him. There's a whole court case. Ooh, ooh, now you got to serve time in jail. I mean, I just got out. But besides that, if they try to pull you off, keep whooping that motherfucker. You got to establish your dominance. If you beat the shit out of somebody and they on the ground and you keep stomping them, nobody's going to fuck with you. But if you got some fiery comebacks, I mean, shit. Just do that. I mean, it's far more demoralizing to somebody to say something funny to you that got the whole school laughing rather than you just whooping somebody's ass. I mean, if you say something funny, at least people will like you. You put motherfuckers out and not everybody's scared of you. Now, step number 45. Be cool with cool teachers. I wouldn't say be cool with all teachers, but some teachers you just simply cannot be cool with. So make it your mission to be cool with the teachers that are actually cool. I want to give a shout out. What's the name of that class? A Push. A P. United States history. There we go. I remember stuff. Shouts out to my teacher in that class. You was one of the greatest. I can talk about WWE with you. Um, shouts out to my English teacher. Um, I think that was junior year. Everything is, yeah. Um, shouts out to my computer science teacher because I ain't learned a damn thing in that class. You still passed us. I love you. But yeah, be cool with cool teachers because shit, teachers give you cool shit. Some teachers, you know, you ever need change for a twenty? Shit, they. Yeah, they'll, they'll break up a 20 for you. Shit, they get you give you something just to go to the vending machine. You tell a teacher to bring you some food. They may bring you some food. But most importantly, 
you have to be cool with your teachers if they are cool and have a hard class. Look, the goal of high school is not to pass with flying colors. The goal of high school is not to impress everybody. Ooh, I got all A's. Yeah, bitch, get a job. The goal of high school is to get through by any means necessary. And if you gotta finagle your way through some teachers, then goddammit, you do it. And now the last one. Cut the music. Cut the fucking music. Because this last one's important. Sleep. Now, sleep is important. So here's what you want to do. You know that time before you know, you know, man, I got to go to sleep for school tomorrow. And you know, man, I should really be asleep right now, but I'm scrolling through the hub. Don't sleep. Don't sleep at that time. Your alone time is important. That time is for you, nobody else. No school, no worries, no stress. That time from about 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., that's all you. That's all you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Sip you the finest of H2Os during that hour. This is what I want you to do. Because, you know, night water hit different. Take a little nap. Take a little nap from 10 to 1-ish and just wake up. Fuck up a whole bottle of water. It will change your outlook on life. Because sleep, sleep ain't for home. Sleep is for school. Sleep is where you feel most comfortable sleeping at. And damn it. I've had some of my best sleep in forensics class. But yeah, man, French teacher was cool. I, mm, should I say this? Uh, let's just say I was sleeping in his, he had a couch in his room. I may have been sleeping on that couch during other classes. Maybe. Possibly. Sometimes. So don't forget, sleep, sleep, sleep. Any way you can. The lunch is nasty. Don't eat the lunch. Did you know that jail food is more nutritious than the food that they serve at lunch? That's something to keep in mind. Sleep during lunch. Sleep during gym. Sleep around her. Sleep around him. Sleep in English. Sleep in math. Don't do your homework. And make sure you skip class. That was all off the fucking dome. Anyway, I'm done with this video. Um... Hopefully that helped. Um, if not, I don't give a shit. Look, if you're trying to be like me, you know you're not going to college, and you know you're just going to work probably full time for the rest of your life unless you blow up on social media, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But if you're anything like me, shit, man, just get by how you can. Also, I have a quick guide for anybody who actually wants to pass and do something very good in college and maybe change the world someday. Everything I said, don't do. That's another video in the books. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you dislike it, I don't care. I don't care. I will practice my Randy Orton punk kick on your face. And don't forget, the second, the moment that we hit 200 subscribers, probably not the second or the moment because I may be asleep. Y'all like to do y'all fucking work at night for some reason. But when we hit... 200 subscribers, me and Legal will put our mouths and butt cheeks through hell simply for views. Y'all better love me after this shit. Look. Also, I don't want to see any fucking jokes in the comments. Oh, that nigga wearing a camo hoodie. Look, oh, this shit's just a floating head in the microphone. Shut up. You're not funny. Anyway, if you want to follow me, you know me everywhere, man. I'm I like JDD on everything. But if you want to follow me, shit, look at the ceiling. If you want to follow Leland, it'll be on the little C joint behind me, I guess. Um, skip it about that. I mean, dude, I we spent like all of high school learning about fucking Shakespeare. Who gives a fuck about Shakespeare?